South China Morning Post, 19th of March 2024, unlike India, Bhutan attempts to resolve a frontier dispute with aggressive China while walking a tightrope. China is attacking Bhutan as part of its all-out assault against the Indian subcontinent. Analysts have stated that Bhutanese Prime Minister Charing Tibgay's recent visit to India, which coincided with ongoing border negotiations with China, highlights the kingdom's cautious diplomatic strategy to strengthen ties with New Delhi without inciting Beijing. The protracted negotiations between China and Bhutan to settle their border dispute are of critical strategic importance to India due to the ramifications it may have on regional stability. According to Aditya Gaudar Shidamurthy, an associate fellow in the Strategic Studies Program of the Observer Research Foundation, Bhutan was at a crossroads at the time. Shiva Murthy stated, on the one hand, Bhutan is attempting to demarcate its borders with its aggressive northern neighbor China. However, it is confronted with an economic crisis and mass migration and is in greater need of India's collaboration and support than ever before. Two crucial tri-junction locations exist between India, China, and Bhutan. The western boundary encompasses Daklam, while the eastern boundary signifies the easternmost point of the McMahon Line, an imaginary line employed by Delhi to delineate the border between China and India. China's expanding influence and presence in Bhutan may jeopardize India's security interests. In 2017, a military impasse occurred between India and China at Daklam, where the Indian Army intervened to prevent the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA, from constructing a road in the disputed region. Bhutan and China maintain conflicting territorial assertions regarding the area, with Bhutan claiming Daklam as its own and Beijing incorporating it into the Donglong region. The two-month standoff concluded in August 2017 following diplomatic negotiations among the three nations. China halted road construction, and India retired its military forces. However, ongoing Chinese construction of military infrastructure in the region has been disclosed via satellite imagery. Shiva Murthy, an authority on security and strategic developments in South Asia, stated that Bhutan was eager to resolve its dispute with China. Bhutan must resolve its disputes, India knows there is no alternative B. In fact, India has been kept abreast of the negotiations developments regularly, he stated. Bhutan and China inked a three-stage roadmap agreement in 2021 to accelerate boundary negotiations. After the 25th round of the talks in October last year, they agreed on principles for a collaborative technical team to demarcate and delimit the boundary. Shiva Murthy stated that the purpose of these discussions was to ease India's concerns as well. Contracts with China will continue. That will not alter. Bhutan cannot disregard the economic and military power located to its north. However, its objective is to ensure that the interests of India are upheld, he explained. Position of Strategic Importance Bhutan, a minor nation positioned between two major powers, plays a geopolitically significant role in the area. An analyst, Amit Ranjan, observed that Prime Minister Modi's initial overseas visit subsequent to his inauguration in 2014 was to Bhutan. That was a stroke of mastery. As an indication of India's strategic priorities, Modi, began his foreign visits with a minor South Asian nation, according to Ranjan a research fellow at the Institute of South Asian Studies, an autonomous research institute affiliated with the National University of Singapore. On December 13, Bhutan formally exited the Classification of Least Developed Countries LDCs, instituted by the United Nations General Assembly in 1971. Ranjan stated that as Bhutan transitions from LDC status to WTO membership, it will require capital and investment to fuel further development, which would strengthen its relationship with India. Therefore, he explained, the Bhutanese leadership's willingness to engage with China and their approach to India will be put to the test. On March 13, the Indian cabinet approved two agreements with Bhutan regarding energy conservation and efficiency measures. Bhutan and India maintain a robust economic alliance, particularly in the domain of hydropower. India is the foremost foreign investor, most significant trading partner, and largest importer of Bhutan surplus electricity, which accounts for approximately 40% of the country's revenue. India has pledged to increase its aid in Bhutan's 12th five-year plan, which concluded in October 2023, in addition to the 45 billion rupees, 542 million US dollars, it contributed to the previous plan. 
the kingdom is constructing a 1,000 square kilometer green economic zone called Jalafu Mindfulness City along the border with the Indian state of Assam to generate employment and infrastructure. Ranjan asserted that India must maintain cordial relations with Bhutan in light of its strained relations with a number of its immediate neighbors. India's relations with Afghanistan are strained. The bilateral relationship has deteriorated significantly over the last 75 years, and anti-India sentiments are percolating in Bangladesh. Therefore, India desires Bhutan to remain in its good graces and not be acquired by China, he explained. Bhutan is the sole neighboring country of India that has yet to formally become a participant in China's Belt and Road Initiative. Indian media outlets reported that the government has proposed constructing a motorable route through Bhutan that would connect Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. However, Tempu will not be enthusiastic about the proposal until China demarcates its border with Bhutan. Ranjan stated that although Bhutan's negotiations with China might initially cause it to oppose the plan, it would be required to prioritize business friendliness with India. Ranjan indicated that China would intensify its surveillance of Modi's forthcoming visit to Bhutan. Doklam concerns India. He stated, they do not want a Chinese presence at the tri-junction border, which could disrupt the Chicken Neck Corridor, an area of land connecting the northeastern states of India to the rest of the nation. I'm also certain that during his visit to Bhutan, Modi will discuss this with the Bhutanese. The Indo-Bhutan Treaty of Peace and Friendship, established in 1949, granted Delhi substantial authority over Tempu's foreign policy and defense in return for economic assistance and security assurances. Despite being revised in 2007 to increase Bhutan's autonomy, India continues to exert significant influence over Bhutan's external affairs. Natasha Kahl, a professor of international relations at the University of Westminster who specializes in Bhutan, stated that the nation cautiously advanced its democratic consolidation and international engagement on account of its robust economic ties with India, despite facing constraints due to its diplomatic and border disputes with China. The amicable nature of Bhutan's relationship with China, which is founded on an awareness of its multidimensional and long-term orientation towards India, she explained. Bhutan's primary objective has been to maintain domestic politics in line with its national interest and prevent its political sphere from fragmenting into pro-India and pro-China factions, Kahl said, adding that the country employed a calculated strategy of remaining silent during the Doklam dispute to avoid conflict with either power. Kahl stated that India-China hostilities constituted the most significant contemporary threat to the Himalayan region, and the Doklam incident came perilously close to escalating into war. Bhutan's astute diplomatic maneuvering during the standoff proved to be a pivotal factor in its apprehension, thus underscoring the potential for small states to contribute to preventing war on a volatile frontier from becoming an absolute certainty. Bhavan K. Verma, a former Indian ambassador to Bhutan, stated that relations between the two countries were extremely close and that the kingdom always sought India's opinion before engaging in negotiations with China. Deliberations with China concerning matters of the border have spanned several decades. Bhutan and India are border disputes that China has yet to resolve. He added, Bhutan and India consistently consult regarding the optimal course of action for these negotiations with China, ensuring that such discussions are both equitable and strategically significant for both nations.